Through the years, the manner in which researchers study fathers and the way we understand dads has changed dramatically. Justin Dyer, who's an associate professor at Brigham Young University, whose research focuses on the contribution of fathers to their children's well-being, says that in the 1930s and 40s, the primary concern revolved around what was going to happen to children who are growing up without a male role model because their fathers were off at war. Later on, however, the focus shifted and researchers stopped fixating on whether or not a father was in the home and instead started studying what fathers were actually doing inside the home and the impact it was having on their children. We found through the 80s, 90s, 2000s that there really was strong evidence that when fathers were engaged with their kids, the amount of things they did with their kids, on almost any level, whether it was playing with their child, whether it was uh, doing monitoring of the child, keeping track of where they're at, whether it was knowing where their friends, who their friends were, um, helping with homework, all of those things mattered to these kids. And you saw that the kids were doing better on almost any index you can think of, whether it was schoolwork, whether it was emotionally, whether it was um, cognitively, any of these areas, we saw that the more fathers were involved in these various ways, uh, the better these kids did. As fatherhood research has continued to evolve, new attention has been given to the differences between mothers and fathers. Recent studies investigating the differences between moms and dads has led to a greater understanding regarding the contributions that each parent makes to their children's upbringing. It's so important that we do understand that fathers contribute meaningfully to their kids and that there are some differences there uh, between mothers and fathers. If we treat fathers, we treat men just like, we, just like women, uh, we're going to miss a lot. We're going to miss a lot of the things that affect them uniquely in their parenting and that affect their children differently. To read more about the evolving field of fatherhood research, make sure to check out dadsdivorce.com. That'll do it for another edition of Dad's Divorce Live. I'm Sean Garrison, editor of dadsdivorce.com, and we'll see you next time.